yesterday and made the move over here. So today I want to focus on trying to find some food. Since I've been here, I've only ate six handfuls of berries. I'm gonna go out here and try to do some hunting. My biggest challenge out here is just gonna be the learning curve. I've never hunt any of these animals. I've never seen any of this flora. I've never dealt with any of this kind of extreme weather. I mean, I have never heard of Saskatchewan coming from Georgia, never. This is my bushcraft toilet. Now, let's haul along, and I'm gonna need a little privacy for this one. I'm a carpenter. I can build anything from anything. Pretty much jack of all trades. Got our pump drill set. I've been preparing for this basically my whole life. My tracking, hunting, fishing skills came deep from childhood. Got us a bass, looky there. Growing up, we had no power, no water for years and years and years. And there you have it, fire. We went out and collected rainwater and had to hunt and forage and stuff for food. There's the rat trap. He's gonna come in here and he's gonna get right in. There it is. Got him. Oh. Got a beautiful wife, five kids that are just amazing. But the most profound reason that I'm doing this is for my son, Nikolai. There you go. He's actually on the autism spectrum. With $500,000, I would be able to give him all the therapy he needs to help him lead a better life. This is seriously a once in a lifetime opportunity to change my life, change my family's life, and I will give it 110% everything I have. I love you, Hazel. Damn it, I forgot my orange paracord to mark my trails. <sighs> but I'm here. Guess I gotta keep going. It's hard to follow your own trail through here because shortly after you make a trail, this moss and all this Labrador tea covers it right back up. I've been hunting, nothing. I saw a handful of grouse, that's it. My hunting skill is above and beyond most people where I come from. This is just, it's a whole new territory here for me. I'm trying to, I'm trying to learn it, but I've only got so much weight to lose. I've only got so much energy to burn. Yeah, you know, gotta figure out how to get this food in and fast. All right, so I went the wrong way. Once I find the shoreline, I can find home. I don't know how. I got so turned around. Off into another bog here. This stuff is knee deep. And it's hard pushing through. God, I'm so thirsty. God, I'm so tired. Looking for anything that looks any kind of familiar. Eventually, I have to hit shoreline. I've never been here before. The shoreline could be anywhere around here. Or it could be 100 miles that way. I'm trying to look through the trees to see where an opening is at. But it's so damn thick you can't tell. I'm hoping to come across any kind of track or sign that, that I've been here before. Seriously exhausted to the point my body's giving out on me. I'm so exhausted I can barely stand. My whole body's shaking. I was worried about this from the beginning. I didn't want to get lost. But I forgot a pair of cord to mark my trails. I'm not thinking straight. Oh, I think I found the shoreline. See that big opening? Oh, it's a beautiful thing. Oh, it's such a beautiful thing. This is a trail of mine. This is my beach. Are you kidding me? Are you 
kidding me? My shelter's right there. Oh my God. My entire body is exhausted. Oh, I'm back at camp. That's all that matters now. I'm back at camp. I need food, whatever it may be. I need some kind of protein in my stomach right now. I heard some heavy flapping in the woods, but probably a grouse. I don't want to go another day without eating anything. I see it. I see the grouse. I'm just going to ease back. Just hang out right here. Wait for it. I'm going to be patient with this one. this land the more I can take from this land oh I can't wait one small victory at a time one small victory at a time I just left everything I know behind to do this but it's not about me anymore it's about my family it's about my son that's the only thing that really matters to me in my life anymore oh yes yes that looks wonderful It's my first real meal. Oh, man. I'm just falling off the bone. Having the opportunity to win such a lump sum of money is amazing. I have a very demanding, very laboring job. I tell everybody I work 28 hours a day, 14 days a week, you know? That is so good. It's hard. It really is hard. So if I could win this, that's 15 years salary for me. For my son, it means better therapies, more chances for him to grow. With his autism, he doesn't speak. Everything that people take for granted, he has a hard time with. And where I'm from, there's not enough offered to him. And this is it, this is my opportunity so that he can have a better life. I can't fail. When the dining room's quiet, you know the food's good. Back to the task at hand, I need three more long poles. Plans for today, and work on my shelter some more. Every day I work on it is a day that it's getting closer to being finished. Would've loved to use spruce roots to wire all this stuff up and Sure would have if I'd have had food every day. I would have took the time to do some crazy I'm tired. I think I started off pretty strong with my gill net. I was hoping, you know, by day three, I'd have a fish in it. Didn't see any fish in it. I built a fishing pole. It cast, it reels, everything. Have not caught one fish. I have a baited line in the water right now. Nothing's taking it. I've been hunting one grouse so the lack of food really really there's just no energy need a lot more pine boughs but i have a unique ability to turn my emotions off 
while I'm out here, it's gonna be really easy for me to turn off the fact that I'm hungry. It's gonna be easy for me to turn off the fact that I'm alone. Okay, I'm gonna start rolling up some moss now. I miss my family, don't get me wrong, but I can turn that off. Mentally, I'm a very strong person, and so I'll be able to control myself enough to make it through. My stomach's growling again. Oh, it hurts so bad. Just bending over hurts. Oh. My stomach won't let up. It's hurting pretty bad. Killing me. I have to sit down. Wow. I mean it. It hurts just to reach for a camera. Now there's just a wave of nausea rushed over me. Why is this happening to me? Oh, no, no, please stay down. How can this be happening? No. Oh, I just want this to stop. Oh, I just want it to stop. Oh, what the Oh, God. 